It's Ryan Walowski in Washington, D.C., and I'm here with my right is Randolph Wicker, and we're going to discuss the 2009 National Equality March. Randolph, what are your initial thoughts? I think it was incredible. Everybody was here from Lady Gaga to, uh, you know, every every big name leader, and there were such passionate stories. A woman from Jamaica who had been raped seven times after they found out she was a lesbian and came to America because it, uh, by the Statue of Liberty because it promised every, every, I interviewed people what special speaker they liked. A lot of them liked the guy who wrote the screenplay for Harvey Milk, the movie. One of the things that I think is majorly a success about the National Equality March is the National Equality March rally and events that happened from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I learned that there was a National Center for Transgendered Equality. There were different offices that opened up their doors to people to teach them about lobbying, to teach them about media uh, strategies, and to learn, you know, information. So the parade was basically walking down, you know, Pennsylvania Avenue. It's a great press shot, but there were so many events designed to educate people so that when they go home they don't expect the parade to solve the problems. Love that. I did too. I ended up in the transgender workshop and uh, they divided people by areas of the country and discussing groups of four and five. They were there to network and organize and it was just incredible because you had conversations of people with different parts of the country who had different problems and I learned so much things that, like trans men I often gets mistaken for young boys. I thought, well, most people would be happy to be mistaken for someone younger. And then they said, no, young people have no rights. You haven't ever been a, treated like a young person. And I found all kinds of learning experiences like that in these workshops, and you had to choose which one you were going to go to. And one of the great things for people who didn't attend workshops was right on Capitol Hill, they arranged an amazing stage that actually had sound that you can hear in the back. Now, we were here in June for Capitol Pride, which is a gay pride event, and there was an entertainment stage, but this was an information stage. And people, if you weren't here, I'll tell you, every time I turned around, the mall was flooded. People stood there for four and five hours to listen to politicians, to listen to people from the military, and find out why people came from Hawaii, why people came from Maine, why people came from California. California to come to the National Equality March. And another reason they came was you were speaking at Congressional Cemetery. Tell us about that. Who was one of our guest speakers this oh, year? Oh, yes. I was, I was the first speaker at the Leonard McElvick Memorial. And it was amazing how many people. It was a crowd of several hundred, a few hundred. And I was out hawking like a hawker on the street saying, who wants to tell me about the event? I had a lot of people come over to tell me they enjoyed my talk at this, at the, in the cemetery. I mean, it was organized, a very, a very moving tribute to a very great American. I was proud to be part of it. Leonardmackovic.com is the website. And one of the things that impressed me the most was President Barack Obama has now officially three times reached out to the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgendered community by declaring the month of June officially lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender Pride Month across the nation. He did the same thing for Same Sex Family Day, including same sex couples and as far as celebrating National Family Day. And this year he was the keynote speaker at the Human Rights Campaign National Dinner, and he actually didn't just read about what happened at the National Equality March, he was a part of it. And this event said to the man who reached out to the gay community three times, we're now reaching out back to you. And that is what makes this an amazingly a successful event, and he did show up. Yes. Randy? You couldn't do better than this march. This march was a total success. Fabulous, fabulous weather, good luck, fabulous appearance by Obama, and fabulous opportunities to interview people from different parts of the country about their experiences in fighting for equal rights for homosexuals. And people were educated to know that the parade is not the end, and they know what to do when they get home. It's Ryan Wolowski And Randy Wicker. In Washington, D.C., right here in front of the White House. Until next time.